we are living in an era where social media publicity means a lot it is said that any publicity is good publicity and it's obvious that that is what kenyan celebrities live by we have seen celebrities who have gone overboard and outdone themselves in search of following and publicity most of these celebrities are musicians they do this when they want to release a new song so they can do anything within their power to get enough attention before releasing the song so that it can gain views Sometimes the publicity stunts cause them more harm than they expected and some just as what they wanted. Here are some of the celebrities who allegedly pulled up publicity stunts. And before we start this video, welcome to my YouTube channel and kindly don't forget to hit the subscribe button. And for the returning subscribers, thank you so much for always coming back to watch my video. At number 1 we have the Bahatis. In 2020, singer Bahati irritated many of his fans after lying about breaking up with Diana Marua, only to release a song a week after the stunt. Netizens have expressed their mixed reaction after Bahati and his wife Diana Marua took them on a ride with a fake breakup in the in the quest to promote their new song that is Mtaachana. Marua went to an extent of sharing a black rose that is most cases signifies the end of a relationship. She also went on and to ask for a vacant house that she can move in with the kids only to turn out that they were cloud chasing. Despite critics, Bahati who switched from gospel to a secular music recently admitted to deliberately pulling stunts to promote his 10 album song Love Like This. I have been doing it on purpose at uh, the way the industry is set up. I will not afford not to create talkability around my name, said Bahati. And again, during their reality show, being Bahati, the couple was caught on camera scripting their reality show with fake scandals and scenarios to a point where the fans and viewers felt the show should be scrapped and NTV quickly replaced it. That is when they went on and, and, and opened up their YouTube channel. At number 2 we have the Moriahs in a scenario including a video that made headlines after it exposed the Moriahs in an embarrassing way as it showed what turned out to be a hefty scuffle between Sizey Tribon and her hubby DJ Mom. First of all, Sizey accused DJ Mom of being in a side affair with the then Switch TV personality Joyce Maina which apparently turned out to be false unfortunately. However, this followed the usual tradition of celebrity couples who make their relationship public when she unfollowed her hubby on Instagram, consequently angering followers and then the dreaded video of the two in a heated confrontation leaked for all to see. It was all a tale of mixed fortunes. However, among us the fans, some some hoped for a solution to come up and save the relationship. Others saw it as an opportunity to have something to do as netizens, while others dismissed that it was a publicity stunt to attract more attention and hence gain more followers. The allegations of cloud chasing were later proved true after a crew member of the dining the TV reality dining with the Moriahs revealed to blogger Edgar Obare that it was all but just a stunt. Moreover, CZ did release a new track afterward, bringing many to conclusion that the scuffle was after all a publicity stunt to get attention. At number 3 we have the Mulamwas. Our real names are David Oyando. Mulamwa paraded a woman he claimed was her new lover immediately after announcing he'd parted ways with his baby mama namely Carol Sony. Don't be too quick to judge neither me Carol nor Ruth for our actions and choices maybe one day it will all unfold open and you will get the clear picture of what really transpired it's not easy to just step out without solid reasons we could no longer sacrifice our peace and live in pretense for your happiness he explained then fast forward the comedian clarified that he'd never dated Ruth while welcoming her to Mulamo's entertainment Then Mulamo has been cloud chasing for over three months and went on ahead to an extent of exposing Carol Sony. 
Since then, Mulamo has been pulling out a lot of stunts and and to an extent of exposing the family that is Carol Sony and the baby. He went on and said that Carol Sony wanted to abort the kid because the kid was not Mulamo's kid. Mulamo also went on and exposed that the kid is not hers, that is Kayla. But again we see recently that they got back together saying Kayla is not my kid but Kayla is our kid. At number 4 we have Nadia Mokami. Uh, taking to her Instagram, the Maombi singer gushed about Priyan, claiming that she had finally found true love and that they two will be the next celebrity couple. And this is what Nadia Mokami captioned. Despite everything they have said about me today, you have showered me with love. I am just smiling here next to you. Being in the limelight, you need someone who loves you for you. Someone who sees you outside the fame, money, attention, gossip, ridicule and insult. Someone who speaks to you, to your soul and you are just that. I should have met you earlier to experience this kind of love, but I know it's not late. We are from two different ethnicity, but our love overcomes that. I love you so much, Priya the next celebrity couple her significant other whom she fondly called Priyan in May however Priyan was not her boyfriend but an Asian model who graced her music video number five we have Eric Omondi, the self-proclaimed president of comedy in Africa he recently admitted an expensive house he'd earlier claimed to own was not his Eric Omondi admitted that the house he had just hired it and not bought it, which was worth 141 million. He was to use it for the wife material show, which was not done up to date. Also, before the release of Baby Shower Song with Miss P, Eric Omondi came out and said that they were pregnant with Miss P, which was a lie, only, only to come out and release a song, Baby Shower. So during the wife material show, they came out with so much drama with Shakila, claiming that they were expecting a baby, which was only a, a lie and cloud chasing. At number six, we have Rington. The singer who claims to be the wealthiest gospel artist in East Africa is not new to controversies. One of the biggest stunts he pulled was when he made a public plea of urgently needing a wife to a point of calling in interested applicants to show up. And also buying Zari Hassan a Range Rover shortly after her marriage with the Diamond crumbled. In May last year, Rington claimed he would expose singer Guardian Angel for her hypocrisy just days after he proposed to his girlfriend Esther Silla. But as Kenyans guessed right, something was cooking behind the scenes. Uh, the duo later on released a song dubbed Fagia. Apoko is well known for gushing fellow celebrities in everything they do, all in the name of cloud chasing. As we are used to recently, cloud chasing has become so cheap in Kenya because many celebrities do that over and over again. As of now, it is hard to believe in a Kenyan celebrities because, you know, it's so normal because everything that we be can believe in turns out to be cloud chasing. Guys, comment down below on what's your thought about Kenyan celebrities cloud chasing because I think for us for now, it's becoming too much. Comment down below and let me know what's your thought about it. That is it for our today's video. Make sure you hit the subscribe button. Give this video a thumbs up and see you on my next one. Bye-bye.